The spotlight effect. Why you feel like everyone's watching you. The spotlight effect was studied by American professor and psychologist Thomas Gilovich and his team in 1999. They asked one student to wear a T-shirt that featured singer Barry Manilow, whose music is known for being very emotional. They had established that this was highly embarrassing for someone in the college crowd. The student had to guess how many people noticed his shirt. He thought about 50% of people noticed, but in fact, only 25% did. Another study had students wear T-shirts with famous people who weren't embarrassing. Again, the students guessed about 50% of people noticed, but this time, less than 10% did. These studies show people think others are watching them more than they really are. They may even think people are mocking or pitying them. Actually, most people don't spend much time worrying about others. So next time you feel everyone's looking at you, remember they probably aren't. Recognizing this can help you feel less anxious in social situations. Hi everyone, welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Elsie. And yesterday we learned about what the spotlight effect is. Today we're going to learn about the history of this term and why it's not something we have to be too worried about. So let's dive straight into day two and learn about when this idea was given its name and people really started to look into it. The article for day two starts by saying. The spotlight effect was studied by American professor and psychologist Thomas Gilovich and his team in 1999. So this term isn't that old. 嗯哼，那这个人呢，他是一位 professor 教授，也是一位 psychologist， 也就是心理学家。那心理学家他们学习的这个科目就是心理学，对不对？那心理学的英文是 psychology。好，那我们一直在说的 the spotlight effect， 中文翻的是聚光灯效应。So this guy studies about how people think, the kind of general patterns of thought, and how that affects our behaviour. And he has a team. Of course, most professors will work with a team of、mm -hmm. researchers and other like students. And we see in the article they asked one student to wear a T-shirt that featured singer Barry Manilow. Whose music is known for being very emotional. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll to kind of explain this more. Like his songs, they're not bad, but some people will be like, "Oh my God, that is such a kind of cringy, over-the-top、okay. love song." Okay. So you won't feel proud when wearing it's, a T-shirt with this picture. No, this is he's not like ah, cool singer, handsome idol,、okay. great rock band.、Uh -huh. This is the sort of thing like your granny likes it,、mm -hmm. maybe your mom likes it. And for the older generation. Yeah, but all, it's not the sort of thing a you know a young cool guy wants to walk around the the school wearing. Okay. So this T-shirt features a picture of this singer. The verb feature means to have something as an important feature. It has something as a part of it. For example, the poster for the concert featured the names of all the bands that would be playing. Feature 这个动词呢，是以点点点为特色。所以这个学生 ，the student was asked to wear a T-shirt. 那上面呢，就是以这个歌手。为特色，就他的整个 picture 就在这个 T-shirt 上面。嗯、okay, now we talked about his songs being very emotional. Let's take a moment to look at that word in more detail. So we told, we said that Barry Manilow's songs are very emotional songs. Here we're using the word emotional to mean causing strong emotions such as sadness and anger. In the case of this singer, his songs are very like, "Oh, I love you so much. I miss you so much." Not such kind of strong feelings as you might find in other kind of music. It's quite emotional, very soft, very syrupy. But emotional can be used in a good way as well. You might say the emotional ending to the movie had many people in the audience in tears. 
Emotional 这个形容词啊，是激起强烈情感的，所以你会在它前面看到 emotion 这个名词，指的就是情感。那你也可以用 emotional 来形容一个人，他是情感丰沛的。所以 Pat 就要问你了 ：Are you an emotional person? Do you is, think?、Mm-hmm. Is grumpy an emotion? Um, yeah, of course. Okay, I'm a grumpy person. So. But that doesn't mean you are an emotional person, right? No, no. I suppose the other. I I tend to let my head control my heart,、mm. so not too emotional. So why this T-shirt? Why put on the Barry Manilow shirt? Well, the article explains they, that's the team and、uh, the professor, they had established that this this T-shirt, wearing the T-shirt, was highly embarrassing for someone in the college crowd. They established 代表他们去发现、确定、证实这件事，所以呢，就在 establish 后面加上 that 以及一个子句就可以了。Yeah, like they went around and asked people, like whose T-shirt would you feel embarrassed to wear? That kind of thing. What T-shirt would be a cool person, and what T-shirt would you like?、Oh, why am I wearing、uh-huh. this? This this makes me feel embarrassed. I get we, Elsie and I were just talking. I think the kind of music he sings is balaga. Balaga, right? Is it is it very cheesy songs? Yes,、yeah, right? super yeah. cheesy, super, super cheesy. over the top. Now we said this is embarrassing for someone in the college crowd. We're using the word crowd in a slightly different way. So let's take a moment to look at how. So the word crowd, of course, means a large number of people. But you can use it in the way we're using it to mean a specific group of people who have something in common, all go to the same place, like a certain thing. So the college crowd means college students in general. The political crowd means politicians and their staff and people involved in politics in general. Here's another way we can use it in a sentence. At school, Manny kept to himself and didn't hang out with the popular crowd. The popular crowd means popular students in general, the students who are popular and have a lot of friends, but not those students in the school who don't really have lots of friends. Crowd 这个名词呢，指的就是人群。那你在字尾加上 ed 之后 ，crowded 的这个形容词有没有印象呢？它代表就是拥挤的。Okay, so the student puts on the Barry Manilow shirt and walks down the hallway, kind of like we described in day one with the pimple guy. And we see in the article the student had to guess how many people noticed his shirt. This is、okay. fun. Yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a fun <laughs> thing to take part in. We see in the article he thought about fifty percent of people noticed, but in fact. Only twenty five percent did. Okay, he thought it was a bad half. Right, but only twenty five percent. So not that many as the student had imagined. Yeah, and of course they would have gone and asked the students later and、mm-hmm. said, "Did you notice that guy's shirt? What was on it? Yes, no, yes, no." And only about one in four said, "Oh yeah, Barry Manilow T-shirt."、Mm-hmm. But the student thought half the people had noticed and、right. were paying attention. So you can see this spotlight effect. The idea that more people notice you than is really true. So they continued on with this kind of experiment and finding out. And we see in the article another study had students wear T-shirts with famous people who weren't embarrassing.、Mm-hmm. A cool T-shirt, you know, the the classic Che Guevara T-shirt,、yeah. Jimi Hendrix, someone like that. So now I've got a cool T-shirt on. Who's going to notice? Well, they asked the question. They got the student to guess. They got the rest of the students to say. And here's the results. It says again, the students guessed about fifty percent of people noticed, but this time, less than ten percent did. Wow, even less than ten percent. Yeah. So I mean, maybe that shows people are more likely to notice an embarrassing T-shirt、right? than a cool one. Uh huh. But it's still a lot less than you would think、mm. in your own head, as the article says. These studies show people think others are watching them more than they really are, and the article adds they may even think people are mocking or pitying them. 
嗯，这边我们看到这个动词 mock， 它代表是讥笑、嘲笑、嘲弄，所以呢，你会觉得人家好像都在 mocking you， 但是其实人家搞不都没有注意到。Yeah, you might think people are making fun of you behind your back. Check out his T-shirt. Wow, how stupid is that? That kind of thing. They could be mocking you, but they could be pitying you. To pity is to feel or even show sorrow for someone's misfortunes. Now, this can have a nice meaning. You read about something terrible, you hear about it, you think, "Oh, that's really sad. That's so terrible. I wish that didn't happen." That's a nice way to pity someone. But it can also be an unpleasant thing. We might not want people to think that we're. Misfortunate, we're unlucky. We don't want people looking down on us as well as feeling sad. Like, oh, poor you! You've got a lame T-shirt. We don't want people to kind of pity us like、mm-hmm. that. That's not nice. You might say, for example, "Don't pity me just because I'm not from a rich family and you are. It doesn't make you better than me." Pity 在这边当做动词用是同情、可怜 ，and it's it can be used as a noun too, right? Yeah, yeah. 也可以当做名词来使用它 ，like what a pity. Yeah, or I feel a great amount of pity for the people in that accident, that kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. But here is the truth. The article says, actually, most people don't spend much time worrying about. Others. Yeah, people are too busy worrying about ourselves, right? Exactly.、Mm-hmm. Everyone thinks fifty percent are looking at me,、yeah. so they haven't got time to look at anyone、right. else. And that's true. Like I wouldn't notice what T-shirt all of the、mm-hmm. people in my school were wearing, or whether they had pimples or not. Not unless they actually came up very close and got inside my sort of. Okay, now I have to pay attention to you. But anyway, that sentence also included today's language in focus. So let's take a moment to look at it in more detail. Today's language in focus, we have seen that spend and take are two words that can signify spending time. But their usage is different. So we need to break down their usage. First, if you use spend, the verb must be a person. 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 Then Max spent five hours trying to fix his laptop. 代表 Max 他花了五个小时试着要去修他的笔电。好，所以后面的动名词用的是 trying。那第二个，如果你想要用的是 take 的话，也可以。不过呢，主词我们先放上去 it。好，用一个虚主词来代替。后面加上 takes， 再加上人，再加上时间，最后再放上。To 以及一个原形动词，所以刚刚的那句话呢，也可以说 It took Max five hours to try to fix this laptop. 那再来第三个，如果我们要直接说某件事情花某人时间，也可以，就像是刚刚那句子，你也可以说 Trying to fix the laptop took Max five hours. And so the article gets to its conclusion and says so. Next time you feel everyone's looking at you, remember, they probably aren't.、Mm, they're not actually looking at you. Yeah, they they don't care that much. <laughs> and the article carries on and says, recognizing this, like this fact, what we just said, recognizing this can help you feel less anxious in social situations. The word "recognize" here doesn't mean like, "Oh, I know that person." It means understanding that, or understanding something because it's familiar to you, either through experience or knowledge. You've read about this. You've heard about it here. You have like, "Oh yeah, this has happened before. I know what to do. I've recognized this." So you might say, for example, John recognized the fact that he had disappointed his mother. Recognize 这个动词呢是承认、意识到或是体认到。那再来看到的这个名词是 situation。Yeah, this will help you deal with this situation. A situation is a particular setting or circumstance. It is what is going on at a particular time, where you are, who's around you, what time of day, and so on. 
and this phrase "social situation" just means when you are around people, when you're doing social things. Another example is dangerous situations. So times and places that are dangerous. Here's an example sentence: It's good to try to make jokes in social situations, but don't do it so much that you become a clown. Situation 的解释呢是情势或是情况状况，所以我们这边看到的 social situation 那就是社交的状况情况。那如果是一个令人倍感压力的情况，可以用 stressful 来形容 a stressful situation。那奇怪的状况，那就会是 a strange situation。那令人觉得尴尬不好意思的状况，就会是 embarrassing situation。Yep, and now that's the end of the article, so we can discuss this idea a little more in our for you chat question, which is. Do you think the spotlight effect is more common in certain cultures or age groups? Why or why not? I'm not sure about cultures,、mm. but I think it's more common in maybe teenagers. Absolutely, younger people. Yeah, it's definitely going to be common at that age. You're so concerned with. Like how, how? people、uh-huh. think of you, like、right. who you are. Of course, you are gonna imagine everyone is kind of checking you out. Yeah, and you want everybody to like you. Exactly,、mm. and I think a lot of that age, people are sort of trying to fit in. To sort of where do I fit in with everybody? Am I higher, lower? Where exactly、mm-hmm. do I place myself? And other people's judgment is going to affect that. And of course, you know, boys are noticing girls. Girls are noticing boys, or boys and girls are noticing other boys and girls. So there's a lot of that. All、mm-hmm. the hormones going、yeah. on. Unfortunately, those hormones are also causing you to get spots in the first place.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely. As for cultures, yeah, what do you think about that? I don't know. I, I'm trying to think. In the UK, it would be probably. Fairly typical. I don't know if it's more or less or do you in think Taiwan. People in Western countries, you know, experience the spotlight effect more than people in maybe Asian countries. It's difficult to say,、mm, right? I I'm not sure. Do you think it's a big thing in school、maybe、here? A little.、Uh, mm, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not no,、sure. it's I, a good question. Yeah,、though. you would really have to live in in the two different cultures to figure out、yeah. more or less. Maybe I would. I was thinking earlier if you were in a culture where you, people had school uniforms,、mm-hmm. which is again Taiwan, Japan,、right. and the UK in the school I went to, then people aren't paying so much attention to clothes. Uh-huh. But in the states where there's no school uniforms, maybe people pay more attention to how they dress.、Mm-hmm. So that could be a thing. Good point. There we go.、Uh, but that's all we have time for. Thanks for watching, everybody. For English for you, I'm Pat. I'm Elsie. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Feature. This music festival features some of the most popular singers in Taiwan. Emotional. The emotional movie caused many of the people in the theater to start crying. Crowd. A huge crowd of people gathered in the park to listen to the famous band. Pity. As the teacher learned about the difficult home life of one of her students. She couldn't help but pity him. Recognize. I feel really tired today because I stayed up late. Now I recognize the importance of a good night's sleep. Situation. Billy's parents separated, which stopped them from fighting. His home situation has since become more peaceful and calm. 智慧小补帖。Psychologist. Establish. Mock.